Hi, I'm Tom Perkinson. I'm an artist and I live in Corrales, New Mexico. And I'm going to show you how I do a pastel painting from the beginning to the end. Now, I don't work from photographs or sketches. I just start painting and so let's go. Now, this is the way I start a pastel. And as you can see, there are there are shapes, there's light shapes and dark shapes. So I place those in and that's the underlying structure of the painting that will, I hope, I, I intend to be there at the very end of the painting. Is this what you see right now? At this point, which is a couple of hours later, you can see I'm beginning to add subtle colors here and there. There are some olive greens, some sap greens, and uh, some cadmium oranges just s subtly placed in there. Now I'm allowing the base, the ground color, which is kind of a light yellow ochre, to kind of peek through, show through all throughout the painting, which unifies the piece as well as adds to the richness. And these are the colors, the subtle colors that I was talking about. And uh, as you can see, it's beginning to take on, you know, kind of a life. Now, but here I've noticed working on this, building it, this is a shape that was from the very start, and it's beginning to bother me because it's attracting too much attention. It's centrally located, it's dark, it's round, and so I'm going to have to solve this, prob probably downplay it a little bit, but I've got to solve this. But here's where the painting is after about three hours. Okay, now this is the second day. I don't like to finish a painting in one day. First of all, I can't. Plus, I need that time to uh, see it with fresh eyes. And so this is the second day. I have several pieces going on at one time. And so here we are. I've worked on this a little bit this morning, and as you can see, I've worked on this spot that was bothering here. And what I did was I brought the, the ground up to it a little bit, then I counteracted by bringing in this dark spot over here. And I'll check that from time to time to see if it works. Plus, I brought the water in here before the water stopped here. I brought the water over. so. I'm able to keep that shape the way that's happening, but, I, but I'm adjusting to it. Now if you notice here, these are notes that I make. I always have notes, a big sheet of paper here, I have where I make notes of things that I see in here that I want to do. And if I see something I like, I want to do it, I'll jot it down so that I don't have to remember that I go back to painting and I make a whole list of things that I see that I want to change or add to it. Like this tree right here. At one point it was coming all the way down to here but I wanted to push it back on the other side of the stream here just to get a little bit more depth. And also I'm opening these trees up. Well now the painting is getting pretty near pretty much completed. I've got to open up the trees a little bit, let the light just a little bit. I've got to clean up the edges here. As you can see I've got a mountain in the back with highlights which brings the viewer, takes the viewer back into space. And now you can see this shape here that I'm working with a little bit better. And so uh, the next time you see it, it will be complete. Okay, here's the finished pastel painting, and this is the frame that I'll use. It has no glass on it, but I put single strength glass on my pastels, and I separate the glass from the painting so it's not touching the glass. As you can see, I've put some details in, a few birds and suggestion of buildings, and the mountains, I articulated the highlights on the mountains. And so, this is a completed pastel from beginning to end. I hope you enjoyed that 
demonstration of how I paint a pastel painting. And thank you for visiting with me in my studio.